Hi, hello and welcome back. In this video, we are going to see about the daily aptitude day 146 solution. So today's aptitude questions I have taken from the concept of partnership. So we are going to discuss about three questions in detail in this video. So if you are new to this channel and have not subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel for more videos. So let's get into today's topic. So the first question is, rupees 1200 divided among P, Q and R, P gets half of the total amount received by Q and R, Q gets one third of the total amount received by P and R, find the amount received by R. So this is the question they have given. So rupees 1200 is divided among P, Q and R and from the given question what they are saying, P gets half of the um, total amount received by Q and R. So P's amount is going to be half of amount received by Q and R and Q's amount is going to be one third of the amount total amount received by R and P. So this is the two equations what we have formed from the given question. With this two equation we have to solve this particular question and find out the amount of R. So we know that P plus Q plus R is equal to 1200 because 1200 is only being divided among these three members. So P plus Q plus R is going to be 1200. With this particular equation, we have to solve the, and find out the value of R. So cross multiply this. So if you cross multiply this means 2P is equal to Q plus R you will get. Adding both sides add P. So if you add P on both sides means 2P plus P you will get as 3P and other side you will get as P plus Q plus R. Why we are adding P is nothing but and the right hand side if you see means P plus Q plus R value we will be getting. So P plus Q plus R value is going to be 1200. So that 1200 we can substitute and find out the value of P. So in this way only so that only we are adding P on both the sides. So P's value is going to be 400. Similar way for the second equation if you solve like that and add Q on both sides and find the value of Q you will get the answer as 300. So P's value is going to be 400 and Q's value is going to be 300. If you add means you will, the total amount is going to be 700. So 700 if you subtract from the total amount 1200 means our share will be rupees 500. So 500 is the correct answer for the first question. So the second question is P and Q started a business investing rupees 85,000 and rupees 15,000 respectively. In what ratio the profit named after two years be divided between P and Q respectively? So what they are saying is P has invested invested rupees 85,000 and Q has inv invested 15,000 respectively in a business. After two years, what will be the ratio of their profit they are asking? So if they have invited certain amount and they are taking a profit after certain years, if both are taking at the same time duration means the invested amount will be equal to the profit. That is the ratio of investment will be equal to the ratio of profit if the time duration is same. So they have mentioned that in what ratio the profit named after two years be divided between P and Q. So both the persons are taking the profit only after the two years only. So the ratio of investment is going to be the ratio of profit. So 85,000 is to 15,000 if you do and cancel it to the simplest form you will get the ratio as 17 is to 3. So 17 is to 3 is the correct answer for the second question. So the last question is the ratio of investment of two partners is 11 is to 12 and the ratio of their profits is 2 is to 3. If A invested the money for 8 months, find for how much time B invested his money. So in this the amount is going to be different and also the time duration is going to be different so that the profit is going to be in the ratio of 2 is to 3 they have given. So what they are saying is A has invest, invested rupees 11 for 8 months and B has invent, invested rupees 12 for certain months we don't know what is going to be the number of months so we are going to consider it as x and that x value only we have to find out and also what they are saying the ratio of their profit is 2 is to 3 so ratio of their profit is going to be 2 is to 3 so from this we have to find out the value of x that is what uh, find for how much time b invested his money so x value we have to find so first we will find out the ratio of investment. So ratio of investment is going to be ratio of profit we have seen no. So that formula only we have to be using this. So P is to 2, P is to Q is going to be rupees into the number of months. So 11 into 8. 
is to 12 into x number of months. So 88 is to 12x. So ratio of investment is going to be ratio of profit. No? So ratio of profit they have given in the equation is 2 is to 3. So 2 by 3 is equal to 88 divided by 12x. So cross multiplying and solving for the value of x, you will be getting the answer as 11. So B has in invested for 11 months. So I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please share it with your friends. And if you are new to this channel and are not subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel for more videos. So see you in the next video. Until then, stay tuned. Signing off from you. Bye. Take care.